Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, let's make some delicious Puerto Rican shredded chicken empanadillas. All right, we're gonna jump right into this recipe. I have here about a pound and a half of some boneless chicken tenderloins. And I like using tenderloins because the cut is smaller and therefore they cook a lot faster. So I'm gonna start by drizzling a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And then I'm gonna squeeze half of a lime. The lime is also going to act as a meat tenderizer. That acidity in the lime juice will help tenderize that meat when it's cooking very quickly. Then of course, a tablespoon of some fresh sofrito. about a tablespoon of tomato sauce. And maybe a little more. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add a sprinkle of this Lori's Casero Total seasoning. Feel free to use any all-purpose seasoning of your choice. Just make sure that it's a garlic-based all-purpose seasoning and that it also contains oregano if it doesn't have oregano then just add it separately then I'm gonna add half of a pack of some Goya Sazon only half because I don't want this chicken to be orange <laughs> and then I'm gonna mix that up really really well All right, now it's time to start cooking my chicken. I'm using a large pot, and here I'm using my caldero, and it is set over medium-high heat. I have an electric stove, so that is about the number six for me. I'm gonna start by drizzling a little bit of olive oil into my hot pan, and then I'm gonna add a little medley of some peppers and onions. You can choose however much or little you would like to add. I like my braised chicken to have quite a bit of peppers and onions, even though I'm using sofrito and sofrito has pepper and onions, I like to add this for some color and extra flavor. I'm gonna saute this until it's nice and soft. And after my peppers and onions are nice and tender, I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken. And the cooking method that I'll be using is braising. So I'm going to mix this all up really well and then I'm gonna add a little bit of water not to cover my chicken but just enough and i'm just gonna cook that at a medium heat so that that chicken can get nice and tender oftentimes when you see other people cooking shredded chicken they tend to boil it first and then they cook the shredded chicken separately with all of the extra ingredients but with this method that won't be necessary especially since we use the lime juice that lime juice is going to tenderize this chicken perfectly all right, so I've stirred this chicken around with the peppers and the onions and all of the seasonings and all that for about two minutes. As you can see, it's about a quarter of the way cooked. And yeah, so I'm just kind of, I don't know, just kind of combining all these flavors together and sauteing all of the ingredients. I don't know, I can't really explain it. Why? Because I'm not a professional chef. I'm just a regular home cook, but I just find that doing this just helps to enhance the flavor of my meat. So that's just being very honest and real <laughs> so afterwards like i mentioned earlier i'm going to add a little bit of water and i'm using the bowl that i used to marinate this chicken because it still has seasoning in it and at this point my chicken is not cooked so it is perfectly acceptable to do and i am adding enough water until it's about three quarters of the way covered i'm gonna make sure the chicken is nice and pushed in and i'm gonna cook this over medium heat for about 25 minutes. It does not take much for this chicken to be nice and pork tender. And then my last ingredient is gonna be one bay leaf. This is really going to help enhance the flavor.
All right, so it's only been about 20 minutes and my chicken is already falling apart. So now it's time for me to shred up this chicken and it's effortlessly. I'm just using two forks and very carefully, well, carefully because I don't want to scratch my caldero. I am just going to pull it apart. But as you can see, I don't even need to do that because it's so tender that all I have to do is use the back of my fork, smash it up, and it starts to pull apart on its own. So that's really nice. So I'm gonna let my chicken cook for a little bit more. I'm checking for taste, checking for flavor, making sure my salt is good. And then I realized I forgot to add some chicken boujon. <laughs> I am going to list all of my ingredients in the description box below. You can add this now, but I suggest adding it at the very beginning along with all of your first ingredients. So don't be like me, make sure you add it with your first ingredients. But at the end, the results were still the same and it came out really really good this is probably the best shredded chicken i have ever made and i'm so happy that i was able to record it for you guys so yeah so i'm throwing that in there mixing it up really well with the juices and even though my chicken is done i'm gonna let it cook for an extra five minutes i'm gonna crank up the heat just a little bit because i want the juices to dry out just a little more i do you want this chicken to be juicy, but I don't want it to be so juicy to the point where it can break apart the empanadilla disc. And then when you go to fry them, they just break apart and, you know, they just fall apart in your pan and your oil and it's just a mess. So, yeah. So even though they're done, I'm going to cook them up for about five more minutes until most of the liquid has evaporated. Checking for taste one last time with a clean spoon. And it was good. And just like that, my shredded chicken is done. Look how good this looks. And when it was finished, I did use the back of my fork and smashed it up a little more just so that can be nice and finely shredded. And it came out great. Now it's time to prepare our empanadillas for frying. So here I'm using the smaller white Goya empanada disc. Feel free to use any brand that you like. And you can also use the really big empanada discs to make some jumbo empanadillas or pastelillos, however you call them. For me, they're all empanadillas. That's a, may, that may be a little controversial, but hey, it is what it is. And then I'm gonna add two thin slices of some Monterey Jack cheese. You don't have to add cheese if you don't want to, but I mean, cheese makes everything better, so why not? And I suggest using a cheese that has a slight sharpness to it and that's very stretchy. I'm then gonna add about two heaping tablespoons of my shredded chicken, and then I'm gonna fold it over and I'm gonna press and seal it with my fingers before I press it with the back of a fork. And this is going to ensure a nice tight seal so that when I go and fry my empanadillas, they don't bust open in that hot oil. I also found a little hole. You gotta bring out your inner child for this one. And if you find a hole, just, you know, just press and close it like so. I'm going to repeat this process until I use up all of my empanadilla discs. And if you have leftover shredded chicken, this shredded chicken is very freezer friendly. Put it in the freezer, it will keep in your freezer for a good while. And then all you have to do is just thaw and warm it up and you can reuse it for some more empanadillas or tacos or as a filling for another recipe.
All right, now it's time to fry my empanadillas. You wanna make sure that you do this in batches and that you do not overcrowd your pan. Overcrowding your pan will reduce the temperature of the oil and it won't give you nice even baking. So just fry it up on both sides for about two minutes or until they're nice and golden. And just like that guys, my empanadillas are done and they came out amazing, super flavorful and tender, so, so good. I do believe that this recipe will work really well as a church or school fundraiser and even for a work potluck. So if you're interested, just reference this video. I will have all of the ingredients in the description box below. Just adjust everything to your taste if needed. And as always, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel a ton. And make sure you hit that notification bell because I try to push out fresh content regularly. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.